Shannon from the blog Meet the Shannons, and today we are going to talk about homemade happy hours. Hello? Hey, baby. So I'm at the farmer's market. What kind of wine did you want me to get? Get a red? Alrighty. I'll be home in a little bit. All right, I love you. Bye. During the era of like World War II in the 1950s, people were actually looking at a way to save money, a lot like we are doing right now. And so instead of going out and like, you know, having date night on Friday night, a lot of people used to do their own happy hours at home. And today we are going to focus on the Italian homemade happy hour, which is my personal favorite. Good. Can I try out some of this red? Yeah, that's all red. All right, so is this all uh, locally grown, locally produced? Yeah, all uh, from uh, the North Fork of Long Island. Okay. It's a little town called Aquabog, between, um, I guess, Riverhead and um, Attatuck. Okay. Yeah. Try it out, see how you like it. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Hey, let me get a bottle of that, please. Absolutely. We're going to start off by making vegan crostini, which is something you often see on, you know, Italian restaurant appetizer menus, but ours are going to be vegan because we're using Daya vegan cheese. Your oven is going to be set at 375. The more you preheat it, the better it's going to, it's going to evenly cook. So we're going to start with 10 to 12 slices of baguette. You want it so you have a little bit of a chewy center still and just a little bit of golden brown on the outside. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a fourth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil and you're going to lightly drizzle no more than a teaspoon over each crostini. Now you're going to be, have to be really careful that you, you keep it on the crostini and that like the oil doesn't get onto the pan. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a very large mixing bowl. You're going to take five good sized Roma tomatoes and you're going to dice those up you're going to take four tablespoons of diced basil. That's another one that you're going to want to make sure that you don't dice up too small. You want your topping to be kind of um, juicy. You're going to take one tablespoon of capers and they have a very unique flavor. It's almost like black peppery with red wine vinegar. Um, you're going to mix that into your bowl as well. As well as one teaspoon of Bragg's this is a really great, Bragg's amino acid is amazing because it not only um, can replace salt in, you know, and add a little bit of that sodium to your, your meal, but it's also really good for you. And as vegans, we need amino acids. So you also add half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I recommend the freshly ground stuff because you wanna make sure that it stays a little chunky. So you're gonna mix all of those together in a bowl You're going to put one serving spoon of your tomato basil capery mix on top of each crostini. And then you're going to take a pinch of Daya's mozzarella vegan cheese and you're just going to sprinkle that over the top and we're going to put them in the oven and we're going to let them bake for about 10 minutes tops. This is a pretty good spread, uh, especially considering when you go out for like a real happy hour. You know, you think you're saving money, but between the drinks and the appetizers and tipping the guy, you end up spending a lot. And this is obviously a much better alternative. You know, my grandparents used to do these when I was a kid, except for they'd make me Shirley Temple rather than get me wine. And like, I have to say, it's one of my favorite childhood memories. Yeah. I'm so glad we do this. I'm glad we're having wine instead of Virgin Shirley Temples though. This episode was sponsored by TotallyVegetarian.org, a sustainable, compassionate, healthy choice.